Hello my dear students. Welcome to the new session from Karim's Biology. In this session, we are going to discuss topics from 10th class biology. So today, the topic that we have chosen is heredity from parent to progeny. I have chosen this topic rather than choosing the first lesson because most of the students they are feeling it confused uh, to learn about different concepts in the heredity. Because the reason, the simple reason is that they need to understand the basic principles, that is the basic definitions, the technical words that commonly appear in this lesson. So if they understand the technical words correctly, properly, they can clearly understand each and every concept from this lesson. So my dear friends, let us start the today's first topic that I am going to discuss is what are variations. Before that, friends, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and follow the coming videos so that you will get the notifications. So let us enter into the topic. So the, the topic is what are variations. I am going to explain in detail by taking a few examples in this session about the definition of the variations. But first of all, let us see what is the definition given in your textbook. The def this is the definition given in your textbook, in the 10th class biology textbook. Variations, the differences in characters within very closely related group of organisms are referred to as variations. So this is the definition and we need to understand the concept behind this definition. For that, let me tell you about this. First, we need to say and we need to know what does it mean by the closely related groups. The definition suggests that the differences in the characters within very closely related group of organisms are referred to as variations. Then what are these very closely related groups? We will know that first. Look at the picture. What do you see here? You can see a group of monkeys here. So this is the animal you are very much aware. These are the group of monkeys and the second picture they too belong to same family but obviously they belong to two different groups look at the second picture the second picture is the picture of a group of orangutans now can i say that these two belong to same group i may not say that because they belong to same family which is called hominidae but they belong to two different species because the species of monkey is different from the species of orangutan, they both have two different species name. And if you look at the pictures clearly, uh, why we are considering them, these two as two different groups? Because they belong to uh, primates, both of them belong to primates, but upon careful observation, we can find a set of differences within these two groups. What are those differences can you find? Look at the color of the hair first. The color of the hair in this monkeys, it is the shade between grey, uh, in brown to white and look at the color of the hair of the orangutans, it is brown in color. So this is one difference that we can notice immediately after looking at these two groups. So this is called variation. So here we are observing the character which is the color of the hair. Within that character there are two variations. The first one which we found in the monkeys is the color of the hair is uh, you know yellowish and you can see in the orangutans the color of the hair is somewhat brown in color so this is the first variation that we observe and upon careful observation you can find the set of other uh, compared to the size of the monkey to that of an orangutan comparatively orangutans are more in size they are bigger in size than to that of the monkeys so that is one more variation and in terms of the behavior also you can find set of variations between these two groups of animals and remember friends we have just now seen some differences in two different groups right the group of the monkeys and the two group and the other group of the orangutans so these two groups they are sharing some common characters but upon careful observation we have observed some differences as well variations can be seen within same group as well you see in the previous uh, just now we have seen that variation between two different groups the group of the orangutan to the group of the monkey but does it always mean that the variations can be seen only uh, between the two groups no even within the same group as well 
we can find so many differences. So what are the differences that we find in the same group? For example, look at this picture. This picture is uh, comprising the group of cats and they obviously belong to the same group. But did you notice something? Look at the color of their hair. Though they belong to same group, the color of the hair is not same and also the pattern of arrangement of different color hair particles on their skin is also different. Look at this monkey here and look at this one. It is complete white. It is complete uh, black, not complete black, but it is having, uh, you know, near the chest it is having white and the other parts of the body comprises of black hair. So why I am showing this picture is that they belong to same group, but even within the same group as well, we can find some differences. Uh, look at this slide here. Uh, so now we are going to uh, see the people, so many people across the world. Look at this, these are the famous uh, cricketers across the world, belong to different countries. And uh, we can see Sachin Tendulkar, Master Blaster, and we can also see Blas Brettley and the people from, uh, uh, so these are the cricketers from West Indies and some other countries. What did you observe? Look at the color of the skin. The color of the skin is not same. See, all these four people, they belong to the same group. They belong to Homo sapiens. All right? They belong to human beings. Homo sapiens is the scientific name of human beings. They are human beings, but their skin color, their skin tone, the body, uh, you know, features, they are, the hair color is different, you see. So, like that, even within the same species also, there will be so many variations you can observe. Now, come to the next slide. Variations in organs. So, this is the example given in your biology textbook. So in this example, we are going to find out the variations in shape of the ear pinna, which is called external ear. The external ear is the outermost ear. You know that in your ninth class, you have studied that the ear will be divided into three parts called external ear or outer ear, middle ear and inner ear. So the picture that you can see here is the external ear. The external ear is also called ear pinna. So there are so many parts in the external ear, but one part that we need to focus upon is the last part sixth one which is called ear lobule so uh, you would have observed in most of the people that the ear lobules are not same they will be different and uh, let us see the uh, picture here what do you see here you can see the ear lobules of different sizes and shapes you see uh, these are four ear lobules here there are four external ears here these four external ears probably belong to four different people so what is the variation? There are A, B, C, D categorized into A, B, C, D. So look at the picture A. In picture A, the ear lobule is somewhat broader. Look at the picture B. It belongs to some other person. In that person, in person B, the ear lobule is not broad, but rather it is somewhat elongated. And in person C, the ear lobule is not that much bigger. It doesn't even appear quite right. And look at the last picture in person D. The ear lobule is same. It is elongated, but you can see a depression at the end of the ear lobule. See, these four, they are human beings, but look at their external ear, particularly ear lobule is appearing in different shapes. So this is one more example to say that within the same species as well, there are different traits. See friends, you need to understand that we are here, we here have considered about the shape of the ear lobule, which is the character. And this character is happen to be having four traits here. So this is broader one, ear lobule is broader, ear lobule is na very narrow and long, here it doesn't appear quite, uh, you know, and here it is uh, long but there is a depression. Okay, so that's about uh, ear lobules. And look at the next picture, not only ear lobule, even within the color of the iris also there are differences. So in this picture you can see the color of iris. You know, iris is the part of the eye which gives the color to the eye and look at the first picture these are the eyes which are in blue color and these are the eyes in uh, you know green and they are in uh, brown color so they are in different colors because their genes will be different the characters or the genes that they got from their uh, parents is different that's why they appear differently okay and uh, the color of the eye is because of the difference of pigments present in their iris you know that there are pigments in the iris which is going to give color to the iris and the difference in the pigments is because of the difference in the genes. So this is one more example for differences in uh, characters in same species. Not only in the uh, human beings and animals but even in the plants as well we can see so many variations.
look at this all of them they belong to same group no doubt at all they are host plants but look at the color of the flower the color of the flower is not same so here it is yellow it is red and some place you can see rose color like that uh, within the same group also in the plants there are some variations in the color of the flower so we can say that uh, within the same group also there are variations present okay now come to the conclusion so from the above examples again we can conclude that the differences in characters within the very closely related group of organisms are referred to as variations okay and i hope that you understood the definition of variation and in the coming days i will be coming forward with some of the basic definitions like uh, what are homologous organs what are analogous organs what is homozygous condition what is heterozygous condition so don't miss my videos which are going to come in a few days thank you for watching Thank you very much.